Josiah is with us in New Hampshire. Hey, Josiah, what's up? Hey, Ken and uh, Dave, how are you both? Better than we deserve, sir. How can we help? Glad to hear it. I'm 25 years old, married, and um, debt-free in Baby Step 4, and applying for term life insurance. So I'm going through Xander and got uh, approved for 500000 but I'm wondering whether I should go with a 20- or a 30-year term. My thought being, if we're debt-free now, in 20 years I'll be 45, will I have a net worth high enough to not require that insurance, or should I go with the 30 and stay insured until 55, at which place I can be more confident that we'd be, that we'd be there. How's your health? Health is good. Um, yep. You smoke? Healthy, no. Uh, nope. Non-smoker. Are you obese? Nope. Okay. Uh, I would buy a 20-year. Okay. Now, let me tell you how I did that, okay? Here's what actually happened with me. Knock on wood, I've been healthy as a horse my whole life, okay? Hardly seen the inside of a hospital unless I was visiting someone else. So um, what happened was I bought my first term life insurance when I was your age, and I uh, I bought a 15-year level, but then what happened was we added kids, we added income, and I wanted to upgrade the insurance, and so I had a choice then of buying yet a new policy and getting rid of the old one or just buying additional, so like I bought 500000 in your case, okay? Later on, I might buy, I might buy another 500000 but that might be three years from now or five years from now, and as you've noticed, it's not very expensive, Mm -hmm. doesn't cost much money. And so what's going to end up happening is you're, unless you lose your health along the way, your ability to get insurance, you're going to end up adding policies or buying okay. whole new policies and starting the clock over. Gotcha. So you don't need a 30. You're going to end up buying a series of policies or replacing the er earlier policies as you want more and more and more, depending on which way the math works the best. And, um, then you're going to be in a position to uh, begin dropping them later. Or when you look up and you're 45 and you go, oh, we're 100% self-insured, you just cut the cord on the whole thing and let them, let them float away. Um, and, and so, but what ended up happening in our case was I've added policies uh, every five years or so from 25 all the way up to 60, not to 60, about 50-something. And I kept some policies, even though I didn't need them recently, just SWI, Sharon wants them. <laughs> and it really didn't have anything to do. I mean, it wasn't like she's not she that like that policy is going to make the difference whether she eats or not. It's kind of silly. But even those policies are starting to expire now, and we're definitely not going to buy them, even if she wants them. I'm done with this. So um, we have convinced her that she's okay. I and think I've got a uh, acronym for that one. What? If Sharon wants it, is SWI. You just came up with a new one. D D C. Dave doesn't care. <laughs> DDC. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing it. You're done. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's you know, she's okay. And she knows she's oh, okay now. And that's, sakes, yes. that's gotten rid of the that need. But what ha ends up happening is you're not buying one policy that's going to serve you throughout your entire life. You end up adding that's right. incrementally as you go along. And so five years from now, if you buy a, a, another 20-year policy or another 15-year policy, you just started that clock over on that portion the other one, when it expires, you're probably not going to renew it, you know, 20 years from now. That's where I am at. You're describing our journey as we begin to have kids, three kids. You added as you went along. Uh, yes, added as I went along. Obviously, we were able to, to upgrade in-house over time. And so sitting with our Smart Vester Pro, we determined what that right amount was. And I, it was like three or four years ago I just did it. And so that'll probably be the last one, obviously. I mean, we, we shouldn't need it at all. And so that you described exactly the journey that, that I'm in. Yeah. And I'm, I'm 23 years older than him now. But the way our brains work, and I did the same thing, Josiah, when I was your age, I, I'm thinking, well, if I, why don't I just get a 30 and, mm -hmm. and I'm done? It's over. But it, it really, it's, it's more life that comes at you in layers rather than linearly like that. Well, explain to young folks, so, so if they're getting ready to start a family, what you recommend when you go from a couple with no kids to one kid or two, how you would... The whole time I'm just saying, you know, 10 to 12 times your income. Because right. when you're 25, uh, if he's getting 500000 then maybe he makes fifty grand. Mm -hmm. okay? If something happens to him, you know, she's got 500000 bucks. If she's got one, if she's got a little baby, she's still got 500000 bucks. Invest that at 10%. Mm -hmm. In a good mutual fund, if it's making 10%, it would pay off, pay out 50,000 bucks. We've replaced his income without even touching the principal. Yep. 
And so that's the idea of 10 to 12 times your income on on you. And guys, you got to go to Xander Insurance and get a quote if you haven't done this because the deal is people are blown away how cheap term life insurance is. And it's gotten cheaper over the years. Oh, yeah. The rates I mean, I down. bought some one time at 45, and I came back in my 50s to buy more. Yep. And even though I was seven or eight years older, it was cheaper. Yeah. Because the rates had come down because they're using better and better and better actuarial tables that are more yeah. modern and reflect right. reflect the uh, the health improvement. They were using tables from the 1940s. Oh, yeah. And, and then they start really using healthy. tables from the 1960s, and now they're using tables because life expectancy has changed. Yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's already cheap, but if you have the preferred health designation, I don't know if that's what they call it, you can make a lot of money. I like to recommend this to dudes. I dropped weight like a wrestler three years ago when I did it. Super disciplined, Dave. Yep. And I got the preferred rate and saved. Got more. Well, here's another one. still save. If you smoke. Oh, yeah. It's double. Oh, yeah. It's double. Yeah. Double. Oof. That's why I asked if he smoked or he was obese. Yeah, that's right. Because it's double. All you got to do is just quit smoking and it cuts your insurance in half. Yeah. Oh, and it saves you on all the cigarettes. Oh, and it saves you on all the health problems. Yeah. And, yeah. you. And no quarter pounders within three days of taking your blood test. There's some world-class advice, Dave. Right here on the range. That sounds like that came from experience. <laughs>